Hey everybody, John Van Dyke here from New Jersey Exposed. Today is Saturday, August 20th, 2022. Time is 5.54 p.m. Jersey time, a very pleasant Jersey time. Sunshine all day today, light breeze. Uh, I did get up to the 90s now, it's down to the 80s somewhere. Very pleasant right now. Okay, well, we got another one of those well-trained professional heroes that's out risking our lives as he protects and serves the government. And this one is another uh, sexual assault story. You know, the cops, these bad cops, they don't like women. They have issues with women. I don't know, maybe they had a bad, uh, bad relationships with their mothers. Uh, I just can't figure it out. Maybe this is part of being a, a psychopath where you have to dominate over other people to make yourself feel important. So this one here, this came out from the Department of Justice. This was released on August 5th, 2022. Reads as follows. Former Sanger police officer charged with sexually assaulting multiple victims while on duty. Hmm. I haven't read the full story. In fact, I've only read a little bit of it. I'm wondering if he sexually assaulted them when he pulled them over to do some uh, revenue enforcement or did he just meet them outside the job and uh, flash his badge and snagged himself a, uh, a badge bunny. Let's read the story. Here it is right there. Let's read the story and find out what is going on with this well-trained hero. You know, they're all heroes, people. Remember that. Every one of them is heroes. They are risking their lives to protect us. That's what they want us to believe. That's what the bootlickers and the blue gobblers uh, all keep telling us, that we should be thankful for them because they're out there risking their lives. A federal grand jury returned a 10-count indictment that was unsealed today charging a former Sanger Police Department officer with deprivation of constitutional rights under the color of law for sexually assaulting four women with whom he interacted during the course of his duties. According to the indictment, on multiple occasions from August 2017 through 2021, J.D. Sean Torrance, 38, of Corcoran, California, engaged in various forms of non-consensual sexual conduct, ranging from directing a victim to remove her clothing without a legitimate law enforcement purpose, to forcing his victims to engage in six acts, all while serving as a police officer. Anybody surprised by this? Sexual assault on women is their number one crime. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, Torres is no longer employed by the Sanger Police Department. What a surprise. Well, I'm sure when he found out things were going down, he, he resigned. Four of the charges counts allege each carries a maximum statutory penalty of life in prison and a $250,000. You know what I find amusing, or it's not amusing, but if I'm going to get life in prison, <laughs> do you think a $250,000 fine is going to mean anything? One count carries a maximum statutory penalty of 10 years. The remaining five counts each carry a maximum statutory penalty of one year in prison and a fine of up to 100000 Any sentence, however, could be determined at the discretion of the court after consideration that he's a police officer and he's part of the gang. Applicable statutory factors and the federal sentencing guidelines, which take into account a number of variables, the charges are only allegations, blah, blah, blah. Well, this is going to be in federal court. So the blue gang stuff does, does not... That's the one thing I say about federal court. There's this blue gang, blue line bullshit that goes on with the superior courts. Does not apply in federal court. It doesn't happen. <clears throat> that's, federal court's the only place you really get any uh, resolution. <clears throat> Let's see what else. Uh, this case being investigated by the FBI. Sacramento field office, blah, 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 blah. And that's uh, all you have to say. I'll have to see if there's anything else on this. Okay, I found another report here. Uh, this was on ABC30.com. And it says, uh, Former Sanger PD officer charged with sexually assaulting victims while on duty. There's a picture of him right there. Take a good look at this hero. This well-trained professional psychopath. All right, let's read this because this had a little more information. A former Sanger police officer has been charged with sexually assaulting multiple victims while on duty. J.D. J. D. Torrance was arrested last year at least when at least eight alleged victims reported being victimized by him. 
One of those victims spoke to Action News about her traumatic encounter with Torrance. The woman whose name we will not reveal to protect her identity says she was sitting in her car in June 2021 when he came up there, flashed his lights in her face, told her to step out of the car, and eventually assaulted her. The woman later filed a report that led to Torrance's arrest of sexual battery and unlawful detainment. On Friday, a federal grand jury indicted Torrance for sexually assaulting four women during the course of his duties. According to the indictment, Torrance sexually assaulted his victims on multiple occasions. He accused of making a victim remove her clothes, forcing victims to engage in sex acts, and blah, 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 blah. So there you go. So he did this not once, but several times. And... Uh, that's what's running loose. You one wonders how how many other things he did to uh, assault people. Very disturbing. And you know, where's all the bootleggers? Where's all the good cops? Keep telling me, oh, you know, we're not like this. We don't like this shit. Where are you? You know, I go to these news reports. I don't see any comments. None of you heroes out there comment on things. Say this doesn't represent us. No way, no how. Nope. You never say nothing. But you got the nerve to get mad at me for talking about it, right? Another hero out there protecting and serving us. Another psychopath, I should say. Another well-trained psychopath out there preying on women, using his job to facilitate his predation. John Van Dyke for New Jersey Exposed. Till next time.